Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. Stu Void here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game, and we are on... This is Badger Hill's map, this one. It's, um, you know, it's a classic map, this one. It's been around for as long as I've been playing it. And one feature of Badger Hills is that the gems in the corners here, but you have to deploy your refineries here, you know, and then you start to clear it out and it gets further and further from your refineries. So sometimes you have to end up placing another, but there are also no neutral structures to capture no oil derricks, no hospitals. I mean, I don't mind that. They don't have to be on every map for it to be a good map. Far from it, you know, that's not the case. So um, it's it's not a negative point. It's fine. It's a good map, this one. It's, um, you know, it's, 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 it's nice. It's nicely, like, uh, designed and all the terrain's nicely placed. I think it's a good map, but it's not a, it's not a common usual sort of map it's the way it's way it's set out i think it's a fairly unique map this one it's all right i don't use it often but i've played on it plenty of times because it's been around so long and because there are no um neutral tech structures to capture no comm centers hospitals or oil derricks that's why there are no engineers trained by either side and I've also decided because I'm using allies for this game I just went with allies and I've got England I've got a couple of medics now that's 400 credits worth of um, units that is medics are 200 each so instead of an engineer I've got two medics that means I can also have 21 or oh no 18 rifles I can have so I can have 21 units but instead I went for the two medics um, so I've got 18 rifles and two medics, that's it, that's what I would have instead of an engineer, there's two medics though, so and now we're over the two over the two minute point, I'm now training more infantry, but I'll uh, need the rocket soldiers as soon as, let's see what my opponent was doing, because I did want to send units around, out and about, look, I've got some rifles here, and I wanted to check the base out if I could, but I was wary of my opponent getting a war factory and having a vehicle just wipe these out and them being a complete waste. I, I didn't want that. You can get a bad start and it can just uh, continue like that for the you know for the rest of the game if you if you make a mistake even early on with a small group. Now you can lose this and it not matter. But sometimes you know it's. Uh, it sets a trend. There you go. I've got a rifleman moving here. One there. And he's snuck between these two. Now you should place your rifles in the most simple routes early on. Because your opponent tends not to move around corners and things too much. Not with their first rifles. So that's the sort of place you want them. Now my first rifleman got caught. I did want to place one... Now my opponent's force firing. Now my other rifleman got killed there. So I knew the enemy had units around here, and I've also heard the machine gun of that um, APC. Now I've got a light tank, because when I use allies, the scout vehicle I choose over the ranger, I choose the light tank, just because it can soak up bullets and screen your infantry very well, whereas the ranger can't. You use its view range for the ranger. But your light tank can actually get in front of your rifles and screen bullets. So I'm moving forward, but I've got my rocket soldiers with me and some medics, and my opponent's got this in a move command to go and... Oh, right. I When I saw this, I thought my opponent had hesitated and thought, right, I'm going to uh, change its orders. But they didn't. The orders actually brought it to double back on itself. That's what killed it. But, because obviously I can't see that in game, the orders that were given, that green line, I can't see what my opponent's orders are. So when I saw that, I saw my opponent's APC stop and double back. I thought, you know, my opponent had done that. Trying to evade fire or call it off or something, but no. It was uh, following a move command. like a scout um, guard pattern it was going up this way and back again and stuff now i'm sending more rifles out there's one of mine he's there you go one's made it through look and there he's on a move command this rifleman but it's stopped 
for some reason, the move command was cancelled, and he's revealed his presence by targeting the um, ore trucks. I don't want that, because oh, he's been run over. I don't want that, because he's not going to do any worthwhile damage, and he'll give away his presence and rile up the enemy. Now, my guard rifle did kill an enemy rifleman um, approaching him, so my opponent's checking out what's going on there. Or oh, have they changed their mind? No, I've just sent a few rifles. Yeah, they've killed my rifleman. This one's still here. Let's see what my rifleman revealed. It moved this way and then showed me a bit of that. So it's enough to get a grand drop underway. If I was using Russia or Ukraine, I could use that in intel to get a grand drop launched. And uh, we've got 9,000 army value each. My opponent's slightly ahead, though. Very slightly. A few hundred. And I've got my first expansion setting up, but my opponent's ahead. Now, for this game, I'm using a different build order. You notice here how I've got three, four, five, six barracks there. My opponent has got three. So this is my new build order. When I build two refineries, though, that's what you see. I've got two refineries there. So that means you have to set one refinery up at each patch where you start. And this is my third. It would normally be my fourth. And But now I've got seven barracks. At the 6 minute 30, I've got seven. My opponent's got four. So I'm hoping for better army mass. We've both got 14,500 army value. But yeah, that's my new uh, build order I'm testing out. Just two refineries, then the war factory. But before I build the service depot, I actually build a power plant and four barracks. Then build the service depot, a power plant, a barracks, and the refinery. And the reason I'm building the extra power plant and barracks before the expansion refinery is because of the time it takes the MCV to build and get to its location, usually I was ending up with my refinery ready to place. So I thought, why not to get another power plant and barracks placed in the meantime? And it worked out fine. And this is uh, used on a map I was completely not expecting. So it proved that, that I kind of threw in the build order, I threw it in at the deep end. Here we go, the first engagements. I've just overtaken my opponent in army value at 19 to 18,000. But I realised straight away I've got to fall back. My opponent has a strong presence here. And I thought, I've got to fall back to my defences and get more placed and get some view range and barracks and get my tanks up front look. And my opponent's got heavy tanks, don't forget. I'm using piddly mediums. Whatever I was thinking, I don't know with a new build order using letting my opponent choose the map and going with a random allied country it's like oh, okay but i held off that assault nicely and i've got the barracks for primary infantry production on site and my light tank is still alive so yay nice work light tank i'm sending this for repairs because look at that it couldn't even take on a rifleman at this in that condition, so it needs to be repaired. Although I do need every heavy, t every medium tank I can, I can get up, up front line at the moment. But I just, I have to repair that. It's too much to leave it in the front line. It's, it'd be a waste. Now I'm not going in tanks first, and I did bump into this. I wasn't expecting the enemy to be set up, but then when I saw their response was immediate, I thought, hang on a minute, this isn't good. And I'm fighting against defences, view range, and superior forces, and they're still building defences next to me. Now, you can't uh, fight under those conditions, that's foolish. And I'm having to leave forces here, look, and look what I was doing. They were to escort this uh, MCV, cover my next expansion that I badly need, and for the MCV to then catch up and join them in battle. But that just didn't happen, and in now this situation, I did fight them off here at this point, but now I'm thinking this is very bad, and look, he turned round. That's where he could have finished the game, I think. I am uh, turning these, sending these forces back. Oh, that's what I was doing, because I'm trying to, I'm waiting for this army to hit me. You see, I've moved them back. I'm even calling in my scout and guard rifles. I'm calling everything back, moving that out of the way so it's um, not going to get destroyed. And look, I, fa I f judged where my opponent was. And I thought, right, I can't have my tanks meet them like that. But then I thought, well, they're close enough to actually screen my infantry. I'm going to move them into position, for I thought. And somehow my opponent's forces kind of melted away. I don't know what happened to that army. It sort of got melted. 
it, it was just got caught out. But both our forces were caught out, but at least I had forces either side. Now, that was good. I'm happy, I was happy with that and thought, I need to take advantage of this situation because my opponent was just in this situation when he had this, his army, this army here, when they did, I don't know if it's a he, I should say, when they had their army here and they could have moved on and hit me, I'm now in that situation. You know, but... <sighs> It's like, I don't know, I wasn't, I didn't have a clue to my opponent's army size. I didn't know. I'm just thinking about the losses they've taken. But I'm at 17,000, they're at 15,000. And I've got my tanks up front this time, and I'm hitting them here. I knew uh, they'd expanded forward this far, because I'd seen their forces. Yeah, look, I've seen their buildings, I know they're here and here, but we've got to watch it, because my opponent can fight while I'm amongst their buildings, that's not good. But they're choosing not to. This force would be destroyed by this one. That's fair enough. My light tank's still alive, but I'm neglecting it, sadly. It's just part of the big army, and it's a harsh situation for a light tank to survive in. Uh, but I saw that force, and I'm falling back. Oh, look, my light tank got caught, uh, lost in the retreat. Ouch. Right, now I'm at 18,000, my opponent's at 17, but during this retreat I'm losing units and I'm thinking, right, I can't just retreat and lose units like that and have them wasted. I've got to do something with it, with the time I'm trying to buy. But this attack force, I thought it's actually taking losses, that's no good. I need to make a proper stand, so I had to make a stand here, but I should have carried on to my defences. Uh, all I'm using is the uh, infantry production at the moment from this. I'm not making use of my defences at all, and look at this, I'm losing army value rapidly. And I've just got a tank to the front line, it's a bit late now, I've stopped my attack order, obviously. But here we go, I thought, right, no, I'm going to continue to fight, I'm not giving it up because it looks like I've made a big mistake. Now I'm going to fall back, I've, uh, I need that. Oh no, it didn't make it, but I'm falling back with my MCV, and I've got this force here. Plenty of defences, so my opponent is wise not to attack, but he's got another little force here. And there's something... Oh, look, my opponent's mining the gems. And you see how far from the the refinery it is, just like I mentioned. Look how far away it is now. You've got a mine, and that's one ore truck. That's all I can say is it's lucky it's gems, otherwise it'd be... Um, a lower priority. Now look at this, you you don't want your infantry straying into defences like that, because this will mangle them. See how dangerous and lethal pillboxes are, they're so good. Get the repair on it straight away, look. Now I went down in army value a lot, my opponent's at 11,000, I'm at 8,000 after those losses. I went right down in army value, but my opponent's just sold something there. Probably a refinery or something that they don't need, but yeah, look, this army, it's its still, it's not doing anything. Um, oh, look, he's going for repairs. That's wise, very wise. And it looks like my opponent's sending vehicles to join these. So now I'm thinking, right, I've bought some time somehow and held on. What do I do? So I got my medium tank separate. And I'm sending these infantry to guard my newest expansion. Because I do actually have money problems. Look, I've got cash problems big time. Uh, so I'm gathering these tanks together as a mobile assault force, like a cavalry raid, and looking for enemy uh, mining operations, looking for enemy ore trucks. So these are on move command, but with sh attack anything stance. So they'll shoot at the nearest target or whatever I tell them to, as, and I'll keep them moving. Now, I want that ore truck, obviously, but a power plant, you can't go wrong with a, a bonus power plant, look, every now and then. If it interrupts your opponent's build orders and stuff. Now, let's see. Yeah. Now, uh, I've drawn a lot of attention there, look. That's all of my opponent's units. And they're starting to struggle for cash, I bet, now. But I've got these tanks away. Let's see what these guys are doing. Now, my opponent only saw a group of about five tanks. Now, that drew their entire army away, look. And that ore truck's still there. That's, a. Uh, they're getting some force move attacks. There, now look, uh, I'll just pause it one moment. These are spies. Now, my opponent's got three grand, I've got 800, so I badly need the cash. Let's see how many make it in. Now, they're disguised as my opponent's units. There's one. That's a grand and a half, nearly. 
and then I lost two spies. But I'm England, so they're only 250. So it cost me 750. I got over a grand and about a grand and a half. I've lost an auto up though, but that was okay still. And now my opponent's attacking here, but I've got artillery just in time. And defences, tanks are being built on site and to get those defences repaired. Infantry being built on site. This tank that survived the raid is coming to join and the artillery is pounding the enemy and they've fallen back with that lot. And there's that attack force stop. They left a few units just to hold me up so I didn't pursue them. Now they've got some tanks gathering here and there's my artillery and my opponent's calling it here and that's it. Very nice. Very, very good game. Um, and that was my first game of the day, this one. So, uh, yeah, that was a great, great battle to start on. I was really pleased with that one because it was a bit of back and forth. It wasn't for sure I was going to win at all for quite a while. Look at that army graph. Look at that. Very even. Ups and downs. And then my opponent was ahead there. Then I went ahead a bit, took some losses. My opponent was ahead a bit. And then we were both taking serious losses, but my opponent was ahead luck. For quite a while. Whoa. Look at that army graph and how far ahead they were. Interesting. Very interesting, that. Excellent. Um, earnings. Earnings graph. Yeah, my opponent... We did okay. It was fairly stable earnings. I've got some arcs there. Um, yeah, interesting. My earnings were, were far from stable, but they were okay. I, I managed to scrape by. Um, I did, I was struggling for money a, a lot of that, for a lot of that game, but it's, uh, I did okay. Like I say, I got by and I managed to invest in tech in the end. Right, my finishing army, I got three artillery pieces, got them to the front line, and I think they were the decisive unit. They basically finished the game for me. And um, some he medium tanks, basic amount of infantry, uh, combat. It's a 15,000 army value. I haven't got a lot at all, but you know and i did get into low power i had to switch the power off to my radar dome to get back into normal power mode but this is the combat tab like i say i've got a fifteen thousand army value but my opponent lost 13 structures i lost two uh, my opponent killed 306 units i killed 285 and my opponent destroyed 62,000 credits worth of my assets i destroyed 64,000 credits worth of theirs so it's a very close fight combat wise very close that was a good battle that one no support powers in effect i did train um spies and i did build artillery i've got my radar dome but i didn't get any helipads and i didn't go on to build the gps or anything obviously and the allies don't get support powers from the uh, helipad anyway these russians and ukrainians get support powers from the airfield at this tech level but allies don't um so let's see production i'm building defenses infantry and tanks standard stuff um no oil derricks but i've got nine ore trucks uh, my opponent earned 102,000. i earned 115,000. um my opponent's got a couple of grand i've got a few grand left basics uh, my opponent was at 21 actions per minute i was at 29 actions per minute i'm usually around roughly around that around 29 30 and there's our scores my opponent was at 616 i was at 675 it's very close game that very good battle very well played to my opponent although i don't know who it is i don't recognize the name um so it's either a new player or a new uh, screen name they're using i don't know who it is sadly but that's not so important. What is more important is the fun, uh, how fun the game was. And it was a lot of fun. Very challenging as well. A good, difficult game. So, great fun. I love that. Um, there you go. There's all your stats, tabs and graphs, etc. I uh, hope you enjoyed the game as much as I... Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the game as much as I enjoyed playing it. Because it was a good one. A great game to start the day. And like I say, I did test out that new build order. And it seemed to work. And I tested it with a faction I'm not used to, and I tested it on a map I don't use. So, you know, and a map without um, the, without the standard 
start with the units, no engineers. So it was uh, all all things were at random, basically, to test the build order under live fire conditions. First game of the day as well. So the build order held up, and it's getting seven barracks very early. I think it was about 6.30, I had seven. So, yeah, you can't go wrong there. But I'm going to continue to test it, and I'll use it with Russia, and um, also more allied games. But if you enjoyed this game, and enjoyed watching it, then please give us a sub and a like. Um, as always, please, t please take good care of yourselves. And for now, goodbye. Battle control terminated.